Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a slideshow using Adobe Photoshop Elements. So when you open Elements, you might have the splash screen here with your organizer option. So if you don't, you're going to need to find how to open your organizer because that's where you create it from. So you click on Organizer. And then once the organizer opens, you may or may not have photos in here already from other projects you've worked on. Or sometimes Photoshop will add uh, photos to your organizer as you're editing them. So what you need to do next is to pick the folders you want to use for your slideshow. So you could click on import and pick your files and folders, browse from there. Or what I like to do is just open the folder I want with the pictures, you know, select them all or select the ones you want, then just drag them in here. And now to create the slideshow, you need to select the ones you want to add to the slideshow. If you don't select any, it's not going to use any. So you could either, you know, hold down control or hold down shift or control A to select all of them. And then you could click on the uh, slideshow button here or up here, create slideshow. So it does a preview with the default theme and music. And you can kind of see what it's going to do here and see if you like what it does. And if you don't like the theme, you could uh, click on themes here, pick a different one. So let's try pan and zoom, apply. And if also before you do that, we could pick a different song too. So click on add, and then we could remove this one. You could have multiple songs, or you could click up here, add your own audio from your computer, you know, mp3 file or WAV file, that kind of thing. So let's see what uh, this guy looks like here. So that's not too bad, but I kind of actually like the uh, watercolor theme better. And let's go back to, let's add this song. Okay, so now that we have things looking the way we like, you can save your work if you want, or you could export it. So you have some options here, uh, export as a movie to your local disk, or if you have a YouTube or Vimeo account, you could do that. So if you pick YouTube, it'll take you to the YouTube site after it prepares a slideshow. So now you need to authorize um, Photoshop to on your YouTube account here so it'll be able to upload it. So you need to pick the account you want if you have more than one account. And then so on, give it permission and upload it, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to add this to a, a YouTube channel here. So I'm going to close this. So another thing you do, which is probably the better option, is click on export video to local disk. And you could just name it a uh, And then you can pick 720 or 1080 and click OK. Pick your location where you want to save it. And it's going to export it again. Now you notice in the uh, title it put 99 to 2001. So it was reading the information from the uh, photos to get those dates, by the way, in case you were wondering. And now if you want to uh, import the export of videos to your organizer. You could do that so you could keep a copy there. Now if you go to the folder where you saved it, you should have your file there. So if you double click it, now we have the video. So there you go. So it's pretty simple to do. Uh, just like I said. So we're going to save the slideshow in case we want to edit it later. So like I said, just find your picture, select the ones you want. Go to create slideshow, pick your themes and your music, and decide how you want to export it, and you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.